Harford County Sheriff Jeff Goller. Uh, thank you, Sheriff, for your time on this important case. I know you and your team are working tirelessly to get this person into custody. How much more do you know about this suspect that you can share with our audience? Well, this sketch, as Patty said there, as Rachel's mom said um, in that piece she just played, uh, the sketch is our new big piece of information, and particularly the hat. Um, the hat is uh, a representation of the hat, the Air Jordan red hat with the new stickers on it that was recovered at the crime scene in March of last year in Los Angeles. That's what the DNA was uh, pulled from. So, uh, you know, people, I think, as, as Patty said, somebody's going to know who that is, recognize him. I, I think you can probably recognize him from the video, but the sketch is the big thing. And this yeah. is the first time after six months uh, we've we've tried several sketches, but showing them to people here and people in Los Angeles who uh, we believe saw this killer, uh, they didn't agree that it was uh, the prior efforts were a good representation of the suspect. Everyone agrees that this uh, this picture is a much better, a much uh, a much more accurate representation of who we're looking for. And sheriff, are you working under the assumption right now this was one person responsible for this horrible crime, or are there potentially other suspects? All evidence, uh, everything that has come to my attention so far, we believe he acted alone. But again, th these kind of questions are open because we won't know until he's in custody uh, and we, we get an uh, a opportunity to have a conversation with him um, whether other people were involved. But all, all the evidence is that that individual on the video is the individual who took Rachel's life and who we need to identify. You know, we have all the evidence. What, what we're missing is the, is the name. Um, so we just need a name to put with that with that image, with that composite, uh, and, and to bring him to justice to make sure he is not given an opportunity to do something so horrific again. I know there's been a lot of fear in your community, especially those who frequent this trail, but there have also been um, investigative leads or at least cooperation in seven other states. Do you have reason to believe he may still be in the area, or do you think he could have gone to, to one of these other areas where you're working with law enforcement? Again, uh, that's uh, one of the open-ended things. Certainly, with my 40 years uh, of police experience, and we have great investigators working on this. You know, my inkling would be that he fled the area. But um, criminals, uh, you know, no one can commit such a crime and be in the right frame of mind. So he, he could very well be here. He could be back in Los Angeles or anywhere on the globe, for that matter. Um, so you know, we every community is at risk uh, until he is removed uh, from the street. Tell me more about the development of this sketch, um, how it came together, and also the link to California and that burglary months prior. Absolutely. We uh, have been working with the Los Angeles Police Department out there. That was the earlier crime. Uh, this hat was recovered from a home invasion and the assault that happened there. And, and one t a new piece of information that we have said is that there were multiple people in the house, not just the uh, individual uh, or people who were assaulted, but there were multiple people, people in the house at the time of that home invasion. Um, and we have spoke to all our investigators, along with Los Angeles, have spoke to every one of them. They have shown this composite to them, as well as people here who, in the days and the hours leading up to Rachel's homicide, saw what they believe was the suspect on the hiking trail, probably staking out, waiting for this opportunity to whether they, to grab Rachel or just you know anyone that came down the trail. We don't know, but certainly uh, at this point, we do believe. He staked out that portion of the trail and uh, had prepared himself for either her or, or another woman who whoever came along. Otherwise, this is a very safe area in your community. I know there haven't been a lot of problems. You have extra patrols out there. Any cameras along this trail that you all have been able to glean more evidence from or witnesses who were out there that day? Certainly at the trailheads, there's businesses and a lot of residences, um, some in different places. Uh, have portions of the trail. My own backyard hits a different portion of this mom pa hiking trail. Um, so investigators have canvassed for all that evidence, um, but there are no trails. The trail is a, a parks and rec, Har Harford County government parks and rec park system property, uh, but there are no cameras along the trail. Uh, we made that suggestion in the days following Rachel's murder and the county is moving in that direction. Uh, we we kind of hope they'd be up by now, but as you said, uh, this is beyond uh, the ab abnormal for this trail, for this area, uh, is so far outside the norm uh, because it is such a safe area. Um, my, again, my daughters walked this trail for years, lived on it for 22 years. Never did I have a fear of such a thing happening uh, for my daughter, for my wife, for myself going out there or our community members. Um, but this, this day, now six months ago, certainly changed 
that line of thought for a lot of people. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.